Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of your Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. We're going to do another Q&A video for the Walking Dead for today, and we're going to also discuss what has been, so far, the worst installment of The Walking Dead Season 11 so far. Why do you trust these people? It says we didn't. Do you regret coming here? Do you? Don't get too comfortable. Remember, they're always watching. Okay guys, just gonna be doing another video for today. This one's gonna be doing another video for The Walking Dead. And in this video, we're gonna be doing another Q&A video leading up to this weekend's episode of The Walking Dead Season 11, which is Season 11, Episode 12, uh, The Lucky Ones. So, uh, this will probably end up being our last Q&A before this episode of The Walking Dead, seeing how tomorrow we're gonna be doing the flashback throwback review for A Certain Doom. So get ready for that. Uh, that video will be out uh, tomorrow. Uh, very much gonna enjoy doing that one. That one will be a lot of fun. Um, and then we're gonna do the reviews and all that stuff on Sunday. So uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to episode 12 but looking back on episode 11 hearing kind of some of your fan reactions and hearing your fan responses also my opinions on the episode and all that stuff uh, I wanted to bring up this question for you guys to almost see where you guys kind of lie with this question which is do we think that season 11 episode 11 rogue element might be the worst episode of season 11 thus far so um okay Season 11 of The Walking Dead, as you guys know, I think has been a pretty good season. I, I, I feel like I defend it uh, more than a lot of other people do. I, I do enjoy the final season. I think it has been, for the most part, very, very good. But, um, you know, I, I will say one thing right now. Not all the episodes are perfect, and there are definitely some episodes that I think really do need some upgrading for sure. So, what episodes of season 11 would I consider being, you know, a, a chance of being the weakest episode so far out of all the 11? Um, episodes that I would definitely put in consideration here are Rendition. Rendition definitely is one that I know a lot of people don't like. I uh, I don't hate it, but I, I, I do see a lot of problems with it. Um, out of the Ashes, I know that's another episode that didn't exactly land for people and for me as well too. I think that one does have some issues. And then I'd say Rogue Element is probably the next one after that that I know some people, including myself, was not too thrilled about. So those are the ones that I feel like have the, the, the chance of being the worst episode of season 11 so far. Now, because let's be honest here, at least, at least for me and me personally, I would say I enjoyed episode one. I really liked two. I loved episode three. Uh, episode six was fantastic. I really enjoyed seven. Um, I know some people don't like episode eight. I personally quite enjoy it. Uh, nine is the best episode of the entire season for me. Episode 10, I thought was very, very good. Really cool remix for the show. And then, yeah, then we, you know, then we get to 11. So, um, okay, this is really the one thing I'm going to say. Rogue Element, here's the problem with that episode. The Eugene storyline and the reveal of Lance and the twist and everything that they've done there, uh, very, very phenomenally done. But everything else, in my opinion, was very, very weak. I mean, the Carol and Lance stuff, just why? I mean, that cowboy character, just why? Um, the Connie and Kelly stuff in particular, not for me. And the Mercer stuff just kind of felt thrown in there. There was a lot of randomness. There was a lot of just weird things. And it didn't exactly make all that much sense to me. So I'll say this. Um, I think episode five um, of The Walking Dead season 11, uh, Out of the Ashes, uh, while I don't like the Whisper stuff, and while I think that that storyline with the Whispers was kind of weird, um, I can at least still say that episode that I did enjoy the Commonwealth storyline quite a bit. Um, and I did enjoy a lot of what they did, like, you know, kind of like the mini storylines. I liked Aaron's character that episode. I did like some of the stuff they did there. The dream sequence was actually really cool. Uh, the Connie reveal, like, there was still some really cool stuff there, I'd say. And there was enough going on in episode five to where I wasn't bored in episode five. I was just kind of like, okay, like the, the whisper thing, like why would you bring back the whispers in you know episode five? That was kind of my one problem I had with it. And then episode four, my main problem is Pope because everything else I honestly am not too upset about. Leah's return, as you guys know, I do not hate the Leah character. I know a lot of you guys do. I do not personally. I think that the character uh, needs some work. I do think that Leah needed some work as a character, but she ain't as bad as I know a lot of people uh, say, at least for me, right? So um, yeah, I think Leah is honestly not even that big of a deal. Carver, again, not that big of a deal. Uh, it's just Pope that episode because even rendition, like Daryl is a lead. I actually quite like him. I think he he really did actually hold that episode together pretty decently. Um, 
and we were meeting a new group. So we have to kind of get an episode like this to kind of understand what this group is like. And we saw some gruesome stuff. I mean, a guy getting thrown in the fire and all that stuff. But again, there is also stupidity in that episode. Pope is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Pope killing one of his guys when he's only got like 10 people standing there is absolutely ridiculous. And um, yeah, there, there are a lot of things. And the way Daryl just joins so quickly and stuff. Yeah, it's really dumb. So episode four, I also, I, I see its positives, but I also see its flaws. Like I don't hate episode four, but I see the problems that episode four has. So this is what I'd say. I'm going to say right now that Rogue Element is my least favorite episode of The Walking Dead season 11. Yes, I did just say that. Um, and this is my main reason why. I don't like anything aside from the last like five minutes. Sorry, but it, it's true. The last five minutes, last like five, 10 minutes, you know, you got me on that. That stuff is really, really good. And I think the reveals and the dialogue and everything like that was really, really good. But before that reveal at the end, I mean, what do you got? Like you got like drunken Eugene walking around for a good portion of the episode. You got friggin', you know, Kelly and Connie going around and just, no, no, no. Honestly, the more I sit on a, on episode 11, the more I just don't understand what that episode is supposed to be, aside from the ending. I honestly don't. So, okay, um, I'm going to say this. I do think Rogue Element is the weakest episode of The Walking Dead Season 11 thus far. I do think it is, and I think that they really, really could have done something better. I'm going to be honest. I really, really do. So um, let me know in the comment section below what is your least favorite episode of Season 11. Uh, I'd love to hear that from you guys. And, uh, well, without further ado, let's get into the last couple uh, comments and questions before this weekend's episode of The Walking Dead. First one for today comes from Victoria, who goes into basically uh, the reason why they're probably not killing off a lot of characters in the current season of The Walking Dead in the final season is because they are saving all the big character deaths, they think, for the final episode. Um, um, and they kind of go into a little bit more. So, um, yeah, so maybe the reason why we haven't seen that many deaths in season 11 so far is because they are saving that for uh, the series finale. Now, I personally feel like the, the character deaths should be spread out throughout the season. And I guess that's my main problem with it, right? Is because I know a lot of people kind of told me yesterday in the comments, they're like, well, Dan, like they've killed so many characters. Why are you so upset that they're not killing off characters? Like, why are you so upset about this? Like, you know, it's the final season, be appreciative of the characters we have. Listen, I do. But the thing is, right, is that this is your final season. This is your last chance to do something outrageous. And I'm not saying you got to do something outrageous like killing Carl, you know, you don't got to go down that road. But you do have to kill off characters. I'm sorry, it's your final season. And so far, I think it's been disappointing. I, I really, really do. Uh, I think for Walking Dead standards and what we come to expect from this show, I think the final season character death wise has been weak as hell. I'm sorry, it really has. So um, even though like it could be in the final episode, that would be, I mean, I'm sure we'll, we'll probably get some character deaths and yeah, the final episodes for sure, but we should have character deaths throughout the season. You know, at least a couple notable characters. Like the only one that's been a big deal is Alden. And I know some people are gonna say, well, Dan, we lost all of Maggie's crew. Wasn't that crazy? No, it wasn't. We barely knew who they care like those characters were. Um, I would have liked to know who some of them were. I actually wanted to see Duncan survive. I wanted to see maybe them do something with, you know, uh, what the hell is that guy's name? Um, the guy with the knives and the long hair. You guys can re uh, remind me in comments. Uh, some of those characters, like those characters, I feel like had potential. Those are characters, as a matter of fact, I feel like they could have developed. Um, but instead, they've killed just that and like Alden. So I'm like, oh, okay, all right, <laughs> all right. So uh, that's, um, yeah, that's, that's interesting, I guess. Uh, so I don't know. I've just been really fed up with the lack of character deaths in this final season. I really hope they up their game here soon because... Honestly, uh, I've been giving them the benefit of the doubt, but it is time I finally kind of just speak on it. You know, I feel like we've seen enough of this season so I can actually uh, speak on it and say, I think this season is in the need of some character deaths. I really, really do. So anyway, that's just kind of my thoughts on it. And the final one for today comes from Brian Akeem, who says that uh, they definitely should have killed at least Elijah or Gabriel in uh, episode nine or some of the recent episodes. Now, um, okay, now here, okay, here's, here's one thing I'll say about that. 
Uh, Gabriel's character, I actually am glad that he survived. I actually really enjoy his character right now, especially some of the scenes in episode 9. He was just a freaking boss. I mean, he was a boss. But uh, Elijah, on the other hand, I have I have liked him more recently than I did in the first half of the season, I'll say. Um, I actually didn't mind him too much in 9. I didn't love him in episode 9, but I thought he was a pretty good character. Um, but um, I'll say this, Gabriel... His death is very obvious. That's the problem with him. And that's kind of lately why I've kind of stopped my predictions on him is because his death is mad obvious. I will say it is very, very obvious. Um, I feel like if they're going to kill anybody off right now or like anytime, like, you know, soon, uh, it'll be someone like Aaron, someone like Magnus, you know, something like that. You know, uh, I don't feel like someone like uh, Gabriel will die right now, especially with all the character development they've given him. Uh, I'd be a little disappointed if they actually just kind of killed him at this point, to be honest. But um, again, we'll see what they do. But I guess as long as we get a major character death, I'm good with it. As long as they do it right. Um, and they don't pick a character that could obviously, you know, ruin the story. Like if they killed, I don't know, let's say, you know, Maggie got shot in the head in episode 12. Like then it'd be like, okay, what's going on? You know? Um, so when I ask for deaths and I feel like I do have to specify, cause I feel like some people get this wrong is that I, I'm not saying I want everyone dead. Like, that's not what I'm saying. I'm like, Oh, everyone needs to get killed off. It's just for story purposes and for your final season, you should have some major character deaths in here. And so far, I've just not seen it. So um, watch this. Episode 12, they're going to kill like two, three characters. Now we're going to be like, yeah, what, what about now, Dan? What about now? So um, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, hey, at this point, I kind of do want, want Walking Dead to prove me wrong, honestly. I, I, I really do. I want to see uh, if they had the balls to kill off even some B-listers right now. So anyway, let me know and definitely write your comments in the comment section below. How do you feel about the recent character deaths in Walking Dead? Do you think they've been as weak as I have? Uh, let me know. And uh, that's kind of my thoughts on that so anyway guys thank you all so much uh, so much for watching this video write your comments and comment section below and of course guys if you're new here click subscribe and subscribe to some of my videos for the walking dead follow names walking with you come guys and of course we'll see you guys really soon for another video for the walking dead enjoy the rest of your day guys and peace out my god no